everyone, in this Java tutorial, together we are going to work on the Colatz conjecture. So what is the Colatz conjecture? Essentially it's a mathematical theory that no matter what number you have, it will eventually get back to number one. So how it works is, even numbers we divide by two, and for odd numbers what we do is we take the number multiply it by 3 and essentially add 1. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to create a Java program that takes user input and then determines how many steps were taken for us to get back to the number 1. So that's what we have to look forward to now. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import a scanner. So import java.util dot star includes everything so that will also import a scanner for us okay so i'm going to create a scanner scanner the scanner equals new scanner and then in brackets we have system dot in okay then we're going to have a prompt to the user asking them to input um, a, a number. So we're just going to do system.out.println please enter a number to check steps for collapse. Okay. Our semicolon there. So then what we're going to do is we are going to store that user input into a number. So we can just say int user number is equal to the scanner dot next int. So int user number equals the scanner dot next int. Okay. And I'm just going to close the scanner as well because modern um, IDE such as Eclipse um, I mean it's good practice as well to close the scanner okay so the scanner dot close okay so what I'm going to do is that user number I'm going to pass into a method which we will call Colatz conjecture so what we're going to do now is declare that method so we can do public or private but we'll just do public static int collapse conjecture okay and it's going to take in an int number okay now the first thing we're going to do is declare a variable int steps taken equals zero so just initializing the amount of steps it takes to get back to number one to zero and then we're going to have a while loop okay so while the passed in number while number is greater than one we are then going to perform the maths that we spoke about so if it's an even number we divide it by two if it's an odd number, we multiply by 3 and add 1. Okay, so if number modulus 2 is equal to 0, so this checks see if it's an even number. So for example, if it was 8 mod 2, 8 divides evenly into 2, there would be nothing left over, so we know it's an even number. What we can do there is simply say number is equal to number divided by 2. Okay. Else, if the number is not an even number, what we do then is we say number is equal to number multiplied by 3, add 1. And I'm just going to add parentheses around numbers times 3, which gives it, gives it that the highest mathematical precedence in terms of operations. So in other words, we want to make sure that our number is multiplied by 3 before we add 1 to it. Okay, And then outside of our if-else statement, what we're going to do 
is we are going to increment steps taken. So steps taken plus plus, that will increment it. And then outside of our while loop, we are then going to return steps taken. And notice now, because I've returned an int, our errors go away. So then up here, user number user number pass into method call calls conjecture yes we'll just say so int steps taken is equal to and this is where we're going to pass in the user number to the colats conjecture okay as we do the colats conjecture method we have to pass in the number, so user number is what we call it. So user number, okay, and then we will just do system dot out dot print ln. We will say steps taken to reach one was. Then we just concatenate here with the variable steps taken steps taken okay so we can just delete that space there so just to recap before i run it we are we are importing java.util.star that makes sh that ensures we import our scanner you can of course do import java.util.scanner if you prefer we're declaring a scanner calling it desk scanner equals new scanner system dot in we then prompt the, the user, please enter number to check steps for colats. Then the int number, this is a variable, is equal to the scanner.next int, whatever the user inputs. And then what we do is we pass the user input into our colats method, which returns the number of steps taken to get to number one. And we then print that out on the screen. And we close our scanner as well. I could probably bring that line up, but it's fine for this tutorial. And just to review the actual method for colats, we declare a public method called colats conjecture. We pass in a number of type int. We initialize a variable steps taken equal to zero. And so while the number passed in is greater than one, we enter this if else block, essentially if it's an even number, divide by two. And if it's an odd number, the number then is equal to itself multiplied by three, add one. And then outside of the if else statement here, we are incrementing steps taken and then we return steps taken. So let's just run this now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Please enter a number to check. Okay, so we'll just do six nine four eight six two three two. Steps taken to reach one was 70 steps. Okay, so that's the Colas conjecture. So thanks for your time today and uh, have yourself a wonderful day.